Hello, welcome and today let's talk about how cats see their owners. Find out what we know about how cats see us, and how we may actually look through their eyes. Have you ever looked into your cat's eyes and wondered what she sees when she looks at you? Cats see humans very differently from the way most humans see themselves. Their view is uniquely feline, and understanding it may help you to understand your cat a little better. My friends, please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Let's continue. Technically, cats can see in color, but they probably see us, and everything else, in a very different light than we do. Cats have very few of the cones that respond to red light, so their world appears blue, gray, and yellow. Reds and greens are impossible for cats to tell apart, so if you have bright red hair, it probably doesn't stand out to your cat. However, new research suggests that cats may be able to see some colors that humans can't. A new study by researchers in London found that cats and some other mammals can see colors at the ultraviolet end of the spectrum, colors that humans can usually only see under a black light. Given that there are many things in our world that possess ultraviolet coloration, such as birds and flowers, the world a cat sees may be an incredibly vivid one. Glowing or not, if you're standing too far away from your cat, you may look like a big blur. Human eyes have muscles that allow them to change the shape of their lenses to focus on objects at different distances, but cats' eyes lack those muscles, so they are stuck focusing on things between 6 and 20 inches away. In other words, cats are colorblind, nearsighted, and probably see the world as if it is lit by a black light. Cats treat us as though they think we are giant clumsy fellow cats. When a cat rubs up against you and lifts its tail, she is greeting you in the same way that she would greet another cat. Compare this to dogs, which play and communicate differently with other dogs than with humans, suggesting they recognize the difference. Cat behavior researcher says that cats probably see us as especially clumsy, which most of us are, by cat standards. However, despite legions of internet memes, they do not see us as foolish inferiors. After all, in feline social circles, rubbing and purring are not how one greets a social inferior. Cats are largely solitary creatures, they live alone, they hunt alone and they don't have particularly strong social skills. Humans, on the other hand, are as social as they come, we use language, facial expressions and body language to express what we have to say. We learn from each other, and we get feedback on our actions from the crowd. It's this disconnect that causes so much confusion between cats and their owners. Dogs, like humans, are largely social creatures. They're used to getting feedback from the pack. So, if a human says no enough times, eventually they get the hint. Cats don't do this. Cats cannot do this. While it's true that cats don't care what you think, the source of this tension is more than ambivalence. Cats' brains have difficulty even parsing the types of social feedback that comes so naturally to us. How is your cat supposed to know that you're yelling at him because you want him to stop scratching the couch? Without the cognitive ability to connect your outburst to their scratching, cats see only chaotic aggression. To the cat, you're this crazy primate who is attacking him for no reason. Instead of discouraging the act, you become an object of fear. Your cat just wants to be a cat and do cat things, like jump and scratch. You keep saying no, but it doesn't mean anything. All this tension stresses Kitty out. Cats get sick when they want to express their natural behaviors and they cannot and will continue to do the thing when you aren't around. The good thing is that they may also see us as family. One of the most obvious signs that your beloved pet is fond of you is the way that your cat greets you. When cats greet members of their social group, they show signals to indicate friendship and a desire to move closer. Cats also show these signals to humans. A tail held in the upright flagpole position shows a friendly intention, indicating familiarity, trust and affection. Some cats also use an upright question mark shaped tail to greet someone they like or to motion that they want to play. 
Cats sometimes intertwine their tails as a sign of friendship and the human equivalent of this is to wrap their tail around your calf. Rolling over and exposing their vulnerable underbelly is another gesture that a cat has ultimate trust in you. However, cats prefer to be petted on the head and neck area, so this is not usually a request for a belly rub. Attempts to stroke a cat's belly will often result in a hasty retreat, or even claws. When a cat needs you with her paws, she is treating you as a kitten treats its mother, needing is a kitten's way of asking for milk. On the other hand, if your cat tends to try to groom you, she might be treating you like a kitten. Cats either can't tell human faces apart or just don't care what we look like. In 2005, researchers set up a test in which cats and dogs were trained in object and pattern discrimination. They were taught to choose between two images in order to receive a treat. When shown pictures of their own handler's face and a stranger's face, the cats only recognized the handler's face about half of the time, basically just guessing. As a control group, the dog's correct rate can reach 88%. In the same study, the cats were shown images of the face of a familiar cat and a strange cat, and they selected the familiar cat's face 90% of the time. The cats chose an image of a familiar outdoor setting over an unfamiliar outdoor setting 85% of the time. Clearly, cats are good at visual recognition, except when it comes to human faces. Instead of facial recognition, cats may use other cues, like our scent, the way we feel, or the sound of our voices to identify us. Researchers found that cats do recognize their owners' voices. In 2013, Scientists played recordings of the cats' names being called by their owners and by total strangers, the cats reacted most strongly to their owners' voices. On the other hand, in these studies cats didn't actually move from their napping spots for anyone, familiar or not. The researchers concluded that cats simply are not inclined to respond to calls from their owners when their owners are out of sight. Many cat owners, However, report that their own cats are much more inclined to respond when they expect to be fed or let into the house. The reason for this is that cats entered human society more or less on their own terms. They moved into human villages about 9,000 years ago, chasing rats that had also come to town to pillage stored grain. People eventually took cats into their homes, but with much less behavioral conditioning than occurred with dogs several thousand years earlier. Researchers also talked to cat and dog owners and found that both sets of owners were equally attached to their pets. No matter how they see us, we definitely love our cats for their unique view of the world, their distinctly feline affection, and their undeniable independence. Cats are sociable animals to a point, but not sociable to the extent that dogs are. A lot of people who have one cat decide they would like to have another cat, thinking two cats are twice as much fun but the cats may not see it that way. The simple message to get across is if you do want to have more than one cat, go about it in a careful way, and be prepared to give up on it if it doesn't work. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye.